Welcome back. Cooking chili or drinking that ice cold beer may seem like a great idea at the time, but the possible after effects could make you think twice. And I'm talking about acid reflux. Here to tell us what foods and drinks to watch out for is Dr. Satish from Spectrum Health Medical Group. Good morning. Good morning. And I, I said this is something I'm very familiar with, and we'll talk about uh, why I got it here in just a moment. But what exactly is acid reflux? What causes that? Well, it's uh, essentially stomach contents, mainly the acid that's produced in the stomach that leaks back mm -hmm. up into the esophagus, yeah. the uh, food pipe. Yeah. Okay. So what, what causes it? What triggers it? Uh, well, uh, a lot of things can trigger it. Um, most, of, most of the time it's dietary triggers, uh, spicy foods, fatty foods, um, peppermints, chocolates, caffeine. Um, but, you know, these triggers vary from person to person. Mm -hmm. um, so it sounds like to me, it sounds like it's kind of a, a lifestyle change for many people, right? It is. It is. I mean, I think a lot of the lifestyle changes uh, involve identifying the triggers, you know, mm -hmm. what really kind of causes your symptoms. Other things that would help would be losing weight, uh, uh, cutting back on things like smoking, alcohol use, um, mm -hmm. things like that. And is this something that really uh, affects older people, or can kids struggle with this too? Oh, kids can struggle with it as well. It affects all ages. Mm -hmm. So, so, so yeah. as a parent, there are things they need to watch out for too, right? If they have a, maybe a baby that keeps getting sick or something, there might be something to do with that. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Okay. So, um, I, I was talking to you. Um, one of my triggers I found growing up was was definitely the grease. Mm -hmm. That's one thing that put me over the edge. So, uh, yeah. what can people do to go about treating this? Um, mm -hmm. You know, medicine or are there special surgeries or right. Um, um, you know, usually the, the thing that I tell my patients to do first is, you know, try to do dietary lifestyle changes, mm -hmm. avoid the triggers if possible, uh, lose weight, cut back on smoking, uh, other things that you can do, don't lie down after you eat mm -hmm. right away. Um, you know, wearing looser fitting clothing might help in certain cases. But at times, yeah, people do need to take an antacid to help control their symptoms, and there are plenty that are available over the counter. Mm -hmm. any, any that you could recommend offhand? Yeah, you? Um, you know, any of them would be fairly good. Usually the ones like Prilosec, Prevacid, Nexium's available over the counter as mm -hmm. well. Uh, those are helpful to take on a more uh, daily basis. Uh, taking something like Tums or Zantac uh, on an as-needed basis for people that have breakthrough symptoms are sure. also Sure. Beneficial. Um, I think one thing too that my uh, was recommended for my my father was that he actually lift the bed up a little bit mm -hmm. so that when he did lay down, it, that wasn't an issue. Yep, raising the head of your bed is uh, is, is usually very good. Um, sleeping on a couple of pillows as well. Mm -hmm. A lot of people have nighttime symptoms, so it really helps with that. Sure. Um, so what what can happen over time if, if this isn't dealt with? Yeah, so there are some complications with it, um, one of them being uh, something called Barrett's esophagus, which is actually a precancerous condition that can occur with it. Um, and that's usually, you know, long term, you know, you know, five, ten years, more than that. And people with a family history of that, too, are more predisposed. Other things can be esophageal strictures, which are these narrowings in scar tissue that can form in the esophagus, can lead to difficulties with swallowing, food getting stuck. Uh, inflammation of the esophagus called esophagitis as well. All right. Mm -hmm. So if people are sitting at home and going, okay, it's time to deal with this, uh, they need to reach out, reach out to you. So where can they find you at? Uh, they can, you know, reach out to me. I'm uh, with Spectrum Health Medical Group, mm -hmm. uh, Division of Gastroenterology. Mm -hmm. um, I think uh, can call the office and make an appointment. Okay, right there's the information on your screen, 4100 Lake Drive Southeast, Suite 205. That number to call is 616-267-7414. As always, you can find them on the web. All right, helpful information. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a great one. You too. Thank you.